Welcome to the parts channel, well, I'm going to make a short video to explain something about the timing belt, well, why does the timing belt usually break before? It reaches the moment when the manufacturer says it needs to be replaced? For example, the manufacturer tells you that it changes to 80,000 and instead, you have a vehicle in 70,000 kilometers. For example, because the timing belt has broken, with the consequent engine breakdown. Why does this happen? Let's see. The vehicle is designed, that is, the timing belt, is designed precisely so that it can hold, in theory, those 80,000 kilometers. The problem is that it is not the same as you doing those 80,000 kilometers moving on highways. Highways or even for towns that barely have traffic lights and others. To be, for example, in a big city, in cities that have to stop for a long time, you endure a lot of traffic, you know what I mean, what happens? That in theory. The motor hockey many more kilometers than it marks, because the engine continues to rotate, with which the crankshaft continues to rotate, the crankshaft makes the timing belt rotate and the timing belt continues to rotate for more kilometers, even when the vehicle is stationary. The engine continues to rotate, so in theory that engine would do many more kilometers. This is something that must be taken into account, for those of you who live especially in large cities or in population is that there are many traffic lights that you stop that if the engine has to be in neutral many times stopped for a long time it would be advisable to check the belt before if the belt should be changed every 80,000 when the engine has 60,000 it would be convenient to take a look then apart there are factors that affect the belt distribution just as tires expire tires expire after four years because they crystallize harden the belts are exactly the same you say I do a few kilometers with the vehicle and I change it well. When it touches it, of course if a year you make the car 10,000 kilometers and you want to change it to 80,000 because you have for 8 years, well then at 4 years it would also be convenient to take a look. Because they also split, the same happens to tires that dry out, end up cracking, crystallize and end up breaking, this is something that must be taken into account, then people who have their vehicle powered up, modified the control unit to increase the power it would, also be convenient to take a look at it, because if that timing belt is for a vehicle, for example, from 100 horses, change it to 80,000, if you increase the power, the useful life will also be shorter, because it is not designed for power, well, I hope this video clears up some doubts and well, if it has served you, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel.